a shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I want to say all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Hamakakwadash. That's the name, true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, who you ignorantly call God in Christ. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, who you call Jehovah or God. Yahweh Shai being who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ or uh, Yeshua. <laughs> All right. Um, but I um, want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel. Okay, our teachers. They who we've learned from in the faith, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings and salutations to the faithful, the fellow laborers out there, noising this gospel broad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is Akiya Mahalaya coming back with another lesson through the spirit. Uh, real quick, <laughs> just to dead this antichrist argument. Um, it's been a constant conception or perception, I'll say it that way. Sometimes I get words mixed up, but I, it's a constant perception that the Antichrist is this particular religious dictator that's set up to bring hell on earth. <laughs> okay, and, but according to the scriptures, Antichrist is mentioned four times in the Bible. And not one time has it alluded to just one particular person. Okay, an Antichrist could be a group of people, a nation of people, a plethora of people, and it can be just one person. But the one person goes into nation of people because the main antichrist on the planet Earth right now is Esau Edom, their nation. And anybody that opposes the true teachings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is an anti Hamashiach because anti just means to be opposed or against. Okay, so you have to understand your definition of words on what certain words means and what's the etymology root word of words. Okay, because um, according to Christian fables. This guy was supposed to come out of Europe or he's supposed to come out of uh, this particular pit, according to them. And he's supposed to just reign in the seat of Christ for three and a half years. And then, you know, he's going to be taken down while these Christians are raptured to heaven, which is far from the truth. OK, that's not the case in this instinct, because when you look at this, it says the Antichrist, the final cake campaign against the savior. Um, they make it seem like it's Donald Trump. OK, which Donald Trump. He is an antichrist like Biden. He's an antichrist. Your family, they're antichrist, but it's not just subjected to just this one particular religious dictator. OK, and we can prove that in the scriptures. And when I say that it could be a person individually, that means a collective of people, because anybody that opposes the true doctrine of the Lord is considered anti Hamashiach. That's all it is, because it says Trump says he's the chosen one. But is he actually antichrist? No, it's not antichrist. It's anti. It's many antichrists. OK, so uh, let's look up. And it's not going to be a long lesson at all, but let's look up the meaning of anti. OK, so it says opposed to against. It says I'm anti the abuse of drink and the hassle that it causes opposed. Need to decide in the debate whether anti pro has offered a particularly convincing case. A person opposed to particular policy, activity or idea. A shadow of army of anti to endanger your spot. So that's all anti mean is against. OK, and when you look at this whole world and see what the Christians done, they have convinced everybody that all the thing you have to do is believe in Christ and you'll be saved from your sins. And, you know, you go to heaven, no matter you can be a, a soy boy, you can be a flamer, you can be a TG or you can be a transmission, whatever you want to call them. And the only thing you got to do is believe in the name of Christ and you'll be saved. And no, it's, it's not true because the scriptures tells us those uh, Salakia. Those followers and those believers in Hamashiach will be delivered. But those that do wickedly and believe in a lying, sorcery, and adulterers, they would not make it. So let's look up the uh, type in Antichrist, all right? Anti Hamashiach. And it gave me four scriptures. First John 2 and 18, it says, Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now there are many Antichrists whereby we have known that this is the last time. And who are the main Antichrists against the true followers? Okay, for one thing, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, okay, the Roman government, okay, uh, uh, the men that put the apostles in prison and beheaded them and killed them. Those were the main Antichrists at that time because they were just against the message that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai came and taught. Okay, like the Romans, they were considered Antichrist as a collective. Um, 
uh, uh, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, the high priests, they were considered antichrists. OK, and today our family, they are considered antichrists. But see, they're looking for this political figure, which you've had several political figures. OK, you've had Barack Obama, you have Biden, you got a uh, what's this guy name? Uh, uh, Soros, you got uh, Trump, you had JFK. OK, you had uh, several men that have come and gone that oppose the agenda of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, which would make them antichrists. But there's no such thing as the antichrist. OK, if you want to say the Antichrist, you can start saying the nation of Edom because they are the, the, the direct head that's opposed into Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, because they are actually the seed of Satan. If you want to uh, break it down in layman's terms. OK, the so-called white man being the devil that the Bible speaks about, the physical counterpart of spiritual demon Satan is the Edomites, man. So if you want to put the label of the Antichrist, you got to put it on the nation of Edom, which all these nations are considered anti hamashiach OK. Uh, and I'm going to go back to this John 20, 18, um, but I'm going to jump around a little bit. It says in every spirit that confess it, not that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is coming of flesh is not of the most high. And that is the spirit of Antichrist. OK. Wherever you have heard that shall come and even now is already in the world. Because remember, a falling away had to come again. OK. We were basically stripped of our heritage. We went in captivity and we had to get our heritage back. Okay, and who was the main driving force behind us losing our heritage? Esau, Edom, because they beat our heritage out of us. They beat our language out of us to the point we was forced to drink down this American philosophy. Okay, 1 John 2 and 7 says, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai is coming to flesh. This is a deceiver and an anti hamashiach That's all it is. It's just somebody that opposes the truth. It's not a religious dictator or some sort that's going to come and speak peace and do wonders and call fire down from the temple of God. No, man. Esau was already doing that in the sight of men through his technology. Okay. That main culprit of wickedness and opposition to the truth is Esau. All right. But it says they went out from us, but they were not of us. If they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they may be made manifest that they were not of us. But ye have an unction one from the Holy One, and ye know all things. But it says, I have not written it to you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and no lies of the truth. But who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the anointed? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. So that's anybody that denied the truth. That's all. Okay? And it's just that simple. But see, you Christians, you don't read because you, you don't understand the history. Okay? Because, like, they're going to give you some off definition, right? Now... They say the adversary of the Messiah. That's a singular term. It should be the adversaries of the Messiah, meaning our families. Okay, even if they don't directly deny a savior, they deny what we teach, which is the truth. Like they just read, we have an unction one from the Holy One, and we know all things, so we have the truth. But they don't accept the truth that we're bringing because they haven't been taught it, and they've been taught to rebel against it, which would make them antichrist, man. Okay. Uh and they give you these wicked definitions, man. Let me know this is the book of uh, Isaiah 14. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 4. It says, And thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. And what's the golden city? America. The Lord broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers, but he who smote the people and continued stroke. And he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. That's going into the nation of Edom, starting with your elites. It says the whole earth is at rest and is quiet and they break forth into singing. And see, the biggest thing is because Esau has convinced the people that he's not the devil. So they would never say, oh, well, he's the devil or he's the so-called white man. No, they're looking for a particular man. But no, this nation of people is directly opposed to the will of the Most High, man. While every other nation is opposed to it, but they're going to they're gonna follow the ways of the Lord when we get in power. Esau, Edom is going to be eviscerated because he's not, it's not in him to do right. Okay, that's just one nation and a kingdom that the Most High just not going to allow to get right. So they have to be done away with. It says, but hell for beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming. And hell um, is your destruction and is stirred up the dead for thee. And the dead is the other nations. It says, even all the chief ones of the earth, which is the militaries. Okay, you, you see now with this whole coup coming against America. It says, it has rised up from their thrones, all the kings of the nations. And all they should speak. And this is being fulfilled now. It says, all that speak said to thee, thou art become as weak as we. Are thou like becoming to us? 
but thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, and the worm is spread under thee, and the worms covered thee. But how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? And this is where they get it mixed up. They think that this is talking about a particular man. No, this is talking about a group of people, a nation, your elites. Because Lucifer is just a title for higher light. Okay, Luciferians on the left-hand side, you got him on the right-hand side. Lucifer doesn't mean the spiritual demon Satan. That's not his name. That's just a title, title okay, meaning one's on light or high. Because the word Lucifer goes into high law, which means light. Okay, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? And how did he weaken the nations? Through his philosophies, through his wars, man. After 230 years of war, America has literally destroyed the whole fucking earth. The war and bloodshed and through deceit, man. Destroying nations without a cause. Just to promote democracy. Okay? It says, For thou hast said in my heart, I will ascend to the heavens, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. And this is a metaphor, man. Okay? This is what he's thinking in his mind. This is his actions played out on the planet Earth. And people would think this is talking about the war when Lucifer tried to throw over the Most High. No, the Most High... The angels can't rebel against the Lord. He's created them to do his will. You can read that in Sirach. But it says, I will also sit in the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. And it says, And I will be like the most high. And yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And they that should see thee should never really look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake the kingdoms? It's talking about Issa says a man. Okay? But when it says man, it's talking about a group of elites, the elites, man, right along with that nation, because their nation is not doing anything to help better the world. Like you set up drug uh, rehabilitation centers, but yet you're the one that's spreading the opiates. It's counterproductive. You know, like I just got out of a meeting about that opioids and shit, but I'm like, y'all the one that's creating the shit, but y'all want to come up with these centers and spending billions of taxpayers money on these so-called free centers to get people back on back on a life track. But it's, it's like an opposing force. It don't make any sense. It says that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners, man. Okay, so that's talking about you Edomites, man. If you want to be technical on who an antichrist is, it's anybody that opposes. How about Shimi Shai, Okay, so um, anyway, with that, I'm gonna give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, by Shimi Shai, by Shimra Kakudash. And with that, Shalom and the Barbable Shalom.